Hello, it's noon on Friday, the 12th of January. You're tuned in to our midday newscast here on Adilang TV. Thank you, as always, for joining us. I'm Mark Broom. Our top story this afternoon, the leaders of South Korea and China have positively assessed the recent uptick in inter-Korean relations. Speaking over the phone on Thursday, Chinese President Xi Jinping welcomed the progress and backed efforts by the two Koreas to improve their ties. Our Blue House correspondent, Hwang o Jun starts us off. President Moon Jae-in and his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping have highly evaluated the falling relations between the two Koreas as well as between Seoul and Beijing. According to a written statement released by the top office following their telephone talks on Thursday, President Moon explained in detail to President Xi the results of the recent high-level inter-Korean talks and expressed his gratitude for Beijing's support. President Xi welcomed the improvement in Seoul Pyongyang relations and said he actively supports President Moon and the efforts of his administration. President Xi also stressed any improvement in the relationship between Seoul and Pyongyang must coincide with the process of denuclearization. The two leaders also agreed to continue their joint efforts in resolving the North Korean nuclear issue peacefully and pledged to reinforce strategic communication and cooperation so the recent push for dialogue will go beyond North Korea's participation in the Winter Olympics and ultimately result in the establishment of peace on the peninsula. Regarding Seoul's relationship with Beijing, the two leaders said both Korean and Chinese people have been able to feel the boosted bilateral exchanges and collaboration between the two countries since President Moon's state visit to China, calling it a huge success. President Moon invited President Xi to the closing ceremony of the Pyeongchang Games as Beijing is set to host the next Winter Olympic Games in 2022. While the Chinese president didn't give any definitive answer, he pledged to closely work together with Korea to ensure a successful transition. Thursday's phone call was the second phone conversation between the two leaders since President Moon took office in May, and the first since the South Korean leader made a state visit to China last month. Hwang Woo-jun, Arirang News.